Oh yeah, getting the hang of her now. If I can land it. Hey there guys, welcome back to Kaiser Test RC. I just wanted to give you a little update of uh, my car situation as of now. You guys have seen uh, the Typhon that I destroyed at the BMX park. And I just want to show you the uh, Just Bash It upgrades that I've done to it. I also have another car you guys haven't seen. It's a Arma Outcast 6S. And I'll show you the chassis from the uh, Typhon. It uh, took some good twists to it. All right. Let's get over to it. Looking at the chassis to my Typhon, it has definitely seen better days, guys. Look at that. She is twisted. She is buckled. Very nasty. Not very good. A nice twist to her. So, this is the Typhon as she sits now guys looking much much better I did a what do you call it uh, the shoe goo and the drywall tape for the body so looking good there we got the uh, just bash it chassis beautiful chassis nice and thick got the uh, the little ribs on the side for a little added uh, rigidity we got um, just bash it chassis braces just bash it rear shock tower just bash it uh, wing mount um, these little spacers here as well and I did want to add these those are from uh, M2C racing this is a shock tower shock tower braces because when you look at it there's not really much holding the shock rear shock tower on in general there's like how many bolts two bolts that go into the, uh, the rear diff housing so this is really 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 gonna stiffen that back tower up so I think that's a must if you're doing any huge huge air we got some hot racing parts on here we got the lower hinge pin mount right there hot racing we got the rear lower hinge pin mount moving on to the front we've got the uh the servo holder the uh the upper plate here for the uh servo we i actually ordered a lower one but I didn't get it in time so I got the lower plastic one in there hinge pin um, mount yeah I've got the, um, the steering here the uh, what do you call it I forget what you call that but it's the uh, darn I'm at a loss it's for the steering <laughs> you have the stock hinge pin mount on the front so I never busted any of the hinge pin mounts when I uh, did my bashing with this thing. Um, basically, it was the chassis that broke, that bent, uh, the drive shafts both bent, and I busted a um, chassis brace. So we also did do a uh, trugification on it. I don't have the, um, the tires that I'm probably going to run later. They're uh, 2.8 uh, trenchers, Proline. So what I did was I put in these uh, these drive shafts here, longer Creighton drive shafts or end shafts, um, and uh, also the uh, 17 millimeter hex from Creighton's. So those two parts I put in just to get a little bit more width out of it. So she's ready to go, guys. That one's going to be punished. I can guarantee you, you're going to see that one abused. <laughs> These two here, they're going to get punished. And moving on to this one. This is brand new. It's never seen any action. But before actually bashing it, 
I did some upgrades. Now this is pretty insane what I did here. I wanted to find something a little bit cheaper than the, um, the shoe goo. So I ended up using PL Premium 600. And pretty reinforced now guys. So you're gonna wanna reinforce your body. Probably this way is better, it's lighter. Much, much lighter. So I did some stage one upgrades on this. Uh, and I would say stage one. Um, and I think they're almost necessary. And what you would see on the roller chassis, EXB. You can jump these things, but if you do any serious air and you land on hard surfaces, this is what's gonna happen to your chassis with the plastic braces. Stage one, I would say, mandatory to prevent your chassis from buckling. Chassis braces. I got a couple of uh, Just Bash It, uh, I think they're called chassis brace spacers or something like that. I don't think those are necessary 100% either. So the tires have all been vented through the actual tire and I have taped up the inside of the tires. Got a few upgrades on her. So we'll see what happens guys with that one and that one. All right guys, well that wraps up this video and my little update of my Outcast 6S and my JBI Just Bash It Trugified Typhon 6S, which we're gonna bash both of them really good. So you're gonna wanna stay tuned, you're gonna wanna subscribe and like. I also have a crawler coming, a Ford F100 1955 uh, pickup truck in green from Axial. So we're gonna do an unboxing on that. It's only natural that I got a crawler because I used to off-road quite a bit and I used to build my own off-road vehicles. So it's only natural eventually I get a crawler. So we're gonna see that, looks awesome. So please like and subscribe guys. We'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.